Module 1. Today we are going to start a new topic that is resource planning. Okay, let's check it out. What does its definition say firstly? It refers to the strategy for planned and judicious utilization of resources essential for all sustainable existence of all forms of life. It means, okay, we all are uh, human beings, even, even the animals. We all need uh, resources to live properly. Okay, and we know, like since here we are talking about, uh, we are dealing with Indian geography. So in India, there are many resources available in uh, both countries. And everybody needs to use different types of resources to sustain properly, to live properly, to live the life properly. So it says that uh, use the resources in a planned way. Wisely, it means do not waste. And while using, please follow the rules which are made by government so that everybody will get chance to use the resources and uh, uh, in future also there won't be scarcity of resources. Okay, next we have why do we need uh, to why do we need to plan the resources? Now, since as I already informed, I we already discussed like we here we are going to deal about India. So when we talk about India, it's since it is very huge, and when we talk about uh, its state, uh, now in India we have got 28 states. So let's check out its uh, physiography. Whole India we could divide into six types of physical uh, features, or we can say that we can divide into six physiographic uh, features. Like in India we have got mountains, some areas. We have deserts, we know like Gujarat and Rajasthan, most of the portions of Gujarat and Rajasthan, they are full of deserts. We have islands, islands there, Andaman and Nicobar, Lakshadweep. We have ghats, our eastern ghats, western ghats. We have northern plains, like uh, this is the most rich area. Like we have Punjab, Raj, uh, Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh. They are very, very, they have got alluvial soil, which is the best fertile soil for doing cultivation, farming. And we have plateau. So, when we talk about these features, obviously the uh, resources which we are found in, which are present in mountains, obviously it is not available in other areas in the same way. The resources which are found in northern plains, it is not available in other areas. So, everybody needs all the, all types of resources, so we need to share our resources. That's what we have to plan the resources. Like when we talk about mountains, there we have a lot of medicinal herbs. So it's not like that, that only people, those who are living in mountain areas, they only need medicine herbs. Everybody needs medicine. So they will share their resources with other people. In the same way, the, the people, those who are living in northern plains, they, since I told before also, here we have got alluvial plains, alluvial soil. So they are good enough for cultivation. So they also share their uh, agriculture products to other parts of the India. Even they export to other parts also. So that's what we need to plan our resource so that whatever is lacking in one area, they can get by other area. Okay. Now, third topic we have its status. It means uh, we, we discussed like we have to we uh, we have to plan the resources. But for planning, what kind of things we should do first? Then second, or like how can we plan the resource? For that, number one is we must know what kind of resources are available in different areas. Like as we have already discussed, in mountains we have medicinal herbs. In uh, plateaus, we have got different uh, rivers uh, called haphazana. Okay, now as we discussed, like we have to plan the resources to share our resources, whatever is lacking in my area, or I can take care of other areas. So how to do the resources? So that we have, we can discuss it few ways like it is available like we can uh, discuss we can uh, plan the resources uh, using three stages first one is identification it means i must know a person uh, who uh, plan the resource obviously it is done by government sector in some uh, so what they do is they plan the resources they check first they identify like what kind of resources is available in ghats western or eastern ghats what kind of resources are available in desert area and what they are lacking okay so first one is they need to identify in which area what resource is lacking and in which area which one resource is more second they plan okay like in Punjab and Haryana we know they are uh, they are good in production so we know like we can export that uh, production agriculture products to other areas like Rajasthan
Rajasthan, Gujarat. We know there is because there is not possible since uh, rainfall is also not there. Now when we speak about the annual rainfall, hardly they get five to ten centimeter. Okay. So first we will do identification. It means we will pick it out what kind of resources is needed in which area, and from where we can transfer or transport. Secondly, we have to plan what to uh, export where and what to import from where. And thirdly, whatever plan we have made, we need to check it out whether our planning is good or not. So for it, mapping the resources development plan with overall national development plan means whatever plan is made by one uh, state cap uh, state uh, government, they need to match whether is it accurately correct or not. Might be everybody are seeking for uh, rice, everybody need rice, so everybody can go to Punjab only. So they need to check whether uh, like they need to check with all national government plan. Might be Rajasthan is getting from Punjab, so. Uh, Gujarat can go and get from Uttar Pradesh. Okay, so in this way, uh, all th these are the three stages by which we can do our resource planning. That's it for today. Thank you.